Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how does alcohol affect the brain and lead to brain fog. You know, alcohol affects the brain in a number of different ways. There's a lot of evidence pointing to that uh, these days. So, um, you know, let's face it. What more evidence do you need than the evidence that your own brain is telling you? You know, than your own levels of thinking are telling you, right? This should be, I think, this is one of the scariest things about my journey and why I stopped, you know, thinking about my short-term th future, thinking about my long-term future. You know, if you rely on studies, what you're gonna have is an abstract point of view. You know, they're talking about the human brain, other people's brains, you know. You should be thinking about your brain, how this is affecting your life. You know, it should be looked at from a purely personal point of view. You know, that's my brain that's been affected, right? It's my brain that's been poisoned by these toxins that I'm deliberately putting into my own body, right? My brain affects my thinking, my th thinking affects my life, and without my brain, my life is gone, right? You know, with reduced functioning of a brain, just think about it from that perspective, something that w we all have as drinkers, right? Or you know, we all had as drinkers, that's gonna give you a reduced function in life. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about alcohol leading to brain fog. That's uh, through a combination of different factors. You know, when alcohol is consumed, it travels through the bloodstream and it quickly crosses that blood brain barrier. Now, think about the blood brain barrier as a membrane that surrounds your brain and keeping out the, the sort of the bad stuff, the so toxins and all that kind of crap that you don't want in there. Well, alcohol is part of that bad stuff and unfortunately, um, it's one of those bad things that can get through neat, right? To use an alcohol term, it's not diluted in any way. So to put this into context, think about the last few years where you've been walking into a store or um, you've been getting that alcohol gel on your hands to kill germs. I mean, is that something that you really want floating around in your brain? You know, once in the brain, alcohol can interfere with the normal functioning of your neurotransmitters. Now, these are chemical messengers that allow your brain cells to communicate with each other. Now get this, alcohol not only affects with affects the communication between these neurotransmitters, it also affects the production of these neurotransmitters. So you're not getting any new ones or it's uh, severely limiting those new ones. So you've heard of dopamine, serotonin, mess with these and you start messing with your moods, your memory, your um, cognitive function in general. So just to clear up what I mean by brain fog, I think it's an appropriate term that we use to describe feelings of uh, mental confusion where it's difficult to, to think clearly, um, difficult to stay focused. We're talking about problems with memory, problems with concentrations, and just overall um, mental sharpness, mental acuity. And all drinkers know that it's like operating in a, in a fog. Your brain is depressed, it's not functioning. Bet, you know, at its best, it's functioning at, at, at a much lower capacity. So it's much more difficult to think clearly, to complete tasks that you wouldn't normally have any trouble with, right? Now, think about this as being a permanent state, you know, without you even knowing that you're in a fog. Now, most people, when they're asking about brain fog, they're looking for ways to clear their brain in a very short term sense, right? The brain fog we're talking about here is, um, we're talking about a more permanent state your brain goes in as a result of years of drinking. You know, and think about it from the perspective of how can it be any other way? Your brain is being doused in alcohol day after day, year after year, and it gets used to feeling that way. It gets used to thinking on that level. You know, the brain fog becomes a permanent fixture in your life. And the only way to reverse that is to stop drinking permanently, right? You know, when you know that alcohol causes you so much damage, why would you still think that it's something positive in your life? You know, I didn't realize how much my brain was fogged up until it started to clear off, right? You know, luckily for me, it wasn't too late. You know, this brain fogginess can develop. Uh, you can develop problems with your memory, cognitive function that you just can't fix anymore. So um, just think about it from that perspective. Now, before we go, if you want to support what we do here on YouTube, I'd appreciate if you consider supporting us on Patreon. 
The link is in the description below. And uh, thank you to everyone who's become a patron. Your support is very, very much appreciated. Take care of yourself from this beach in uh, in Ireland, in West Clare. And uh, I will speak to you soon. Onward to the Bye now.